Hi, this is the do-it-yourself video on how to buff out and restore the finish on a boat or any anything with a, a painted or a, or a clear coat of finish. This is a 1989 Bayliner boat and it's had several years of neglect and the, uh, the finish itself you can see has gone very hazy and then just with my hand I took some polishing compound and did a little spot like that and you can uh, certainly see the difference. So I'm going to go over the whole boat. I've already done one half of it actually. And this video is going to describe the process of doing it. Um, in a minute you're going to see the video switch to, uh, to the tools and compounds used. It's very easy and anybody can do it. So you can see this side I've already done and uh, it's, it's a much darker blue. You don't get any of that haze and uh, it's not going to make an old junk boat look new but it'll make an old boat look much much better. I'm going to review the tools and the products you need to uh, do the polishing job and so the first thing we're going to look at is a grinder and this is a I guess technically it's called a polisher sander this is a Makita 9227C it's a 10 amp grinder very heavy duty quite industrial and uh, I borrowed this from a friend. It comes with a velcro disc and then the pad that you can put on sticks on there so that's great if you want to change it you can just peel it off put a new one on this is really just a sponge I don't know if there's any abrasion built into the sponge there could be um, but anyway to uh, to accelerate the process and add as a lubricant I have um, I've used these this product right here it's made by Auto Magic Power Cut Plus is the model and each of these each of these abrasion compounds have a rating on the abrasive meter and uh, this one is shown as very abrasive and this would be the first one so you do a coat or a cover it with this and grind off as much material as you can do the heavy uh, heavy grinding with that and then this next product is less abrasive called new car glaze and it's shown in this location in the abrasive meter and then the final project is called strawberry wet wax and it's very low so really you're looking at grind polish shine so a professional would have three different sponges and not mix the grit um, or the compound on the sponges. I only have the one and so between, uh, you know, when I change from one grit or grade to another, this is the technique I use to clean the sponge and it, it cleans some of it out. So as I say, this is the grinder. This one is a nice model, has adjustable speed. And where, where I'm new at this, I really don't want to grind through the clear coat of the paint quickly, so I've got it set at a really low speed, like one to two. And uh, so I apply the product on just a little bit like this. Don't need a lot of it. And uh, if you just actually put it up on the vehicle or the boat and hit the trigger, a lot of the product is going to spin off. So to prevent doing that, I come up and actually just take a good look at how, how this is shiny. I've already done this part with my finger and this area is hazy so this is what I'm going to do. Instead of just coming up to it and hitting it with the trigger, I'll kind of push the product into the sponge and then move it around a bit and it just prevents wasting a lot of the product when you hit the trigger the first time. So I'll just move the grinder back and forth. And you may notice that it was kind of moving me around quite a bit. This is a very strong machine. So what you can do is get used to, what, what I like to do is get used to the, the surface that's going to pull the grinder away from me. That's the one that I usually contact the surface I'm grinding. And that way I'm just always gently pulling the grinder back towards me. Um, if, you, if you rotate from doing this, the power of the grinder is going to be pulling it back and forth. And uh, so I just prefer to keep one surface contacting the boat, but when you get up near a piece of trim, that's difficult. Okay, I'm going to switch to another compound now. Okay, so I'm done doing the whole side with the coarse grit, so I'm just going to clean it off here. I don't know if you can see the stuff flying out of the sponge, but there is some. Get rid of most of it. 
So, next we move on to the medium grit. I broke my rule about touching the boat first, so you notice the compound flew off before I even hit the boat. Put this on, it's gonna look a brand new boat. Look like a brand new boat, right? <laughs> Maybe not quite. But it'll look good. Okay, so here we are. The buffing job has all been done. Gone down three grades of grit and uh, gone over the whole boat and then I wiped it down with a hose, with a wet, ho wet cloth and a hose and got all the water spots off of it, got all the buffing compound taken off and uh, I'll follow it up with a coat of wax and it'll be done. So this boat for being, well, I guess it's 26 years old this year. Uh, the top part of the hull, where it was all hazy, looks pretty good. Okay, there you go. Good luck with your buffing job.